Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to use the nano editor. It's been a long running battle over the years over which is the best editor for Linux. Is it Vi or is it Emacs? Well, I'm just a casual user of Linux and I actually think the nano editor is perfectly useful for most people's needs. So this tutorial is all about using the nano editor. As you can see, I've already opened a, a terminal window. So let's have a look. What's in my folder? Absolutely nothing. So to start a nano editor, just type in the word nano. And as you can see, the nano editor opens. And I can type the words the cat, sat, and that. To save a file, press Ctrl O. And then, um, if you haven't given it a file name previously, you can just type in the name of the file you want to give it. Press return, done. To exit the nano editor, press Ctrl and X. So now when I type out S, you have text one. If you want to edit an existing file or provide a file name for the new, for a new file, all you have to do is type nano and the file name. So nano text one, and as you can see, the cat sat on the mat. Uh, now I can enter no, it didn't. So there's more save options available. So Control O, as you can see, saves. So I can type text one and leave it as it is, or I can go for text two, give it which basically gives a different file name and it asks are you sure you want to do that so yes for, if you want to and no if you don't uh, other things you do you can do control O if you want to save in DOS format press alt and D and as you can see it says file name to write DOS format and then text 2 return like that and if you want to save it in Mac format control alt and it's alt and M to change it to Mac format press return if you want to turn it off, it's in Mac format, you press Alt and M again to turn it off, or if it's in DOS format, Alt and D again to turn it off and press return. Sometimes if you want to take a backup of the file because you're not sure whether you want to keep the original one or not, well, Control O brings up the save window. Alt and B turns on backup mode. So when you press return this time and exit the nano editor with Control and X, you type ls, and as you can see there's a text2 and a text2 with a tilde on the end. The text2 with a tilde is the backup copy. Now, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is open up text1 again. And as you see the cat sat on the mat. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the frog jumped over the log. This time when we save, what we're going to do is we're going to do append which is Alt and A, and it asks you which file you want to append to. So I'm going to put text 2 as so, and then I'm going to exit out of the nano editor, and I'm not save my changes because I don't want to change text 1. And now, if you do nano text 2, you can see it appended those lines to my text 2 file. Similarly, if I type nano text 1, and I put the fridge door was left open and I do control and O and then alt and P if I type in the text 2 file name now and exit and then edit text 2 that text from the other nano window has been prepended onto the front of text 2 let's move on to um, cutting and pasting text. Um, if I want to cut text, I can press Control and K, as so, and Control and U pastes, as so. If I want to cut multiple lines, I can do keep pressing Control K, and then I can do Control U, Control U, Control U, and paste all four lines. Here's the caveat: if I press Control A, and then I cursor along, and then I press Control U, I don't get the first line of text that I cut. As soon as you start moving the cursor around or start editing text, the original cut has gone. Another thing you can do is actually mark the text for uh, cutting and pasting. So I can do control and 6 and then it will let me select however much text I want to and then you can do control and U, uh, sorry, control and K and then it's control U, control U, control U and there you have it. Cut and pasted text. Sometimes if I want to search for text, well I'm going to exit that because I've destroyed that file and I'm going to go back in again. 
Right, so say I want to search for the word frog, control and backslash. Now, as you can see, it says search and afterwards it's to replace. What you want to do is turn off the replace because you don't always want to replace text, you just want to search for it. So you can press control and R and it turns off the replace. So if I now search for the word frog, it takes me to the point where frog is. As you can see, I've got cat in there twice. So if I do control slash and type, you just have to press control R again to get off the thing. That's a bit annoying, really. Um, so if I want to search for cat, I can do cat and it'll find that one. And if I control X again, uh, sorry. It's the one thing that annoys me is that you have to turn off the replace every time. Control R, search for cat again, and it finds the next one. And you can go backwards if you want to by pressing Alt B. Turn, again, turn off the replace, Control R, and then it's going to search backwards for the word cat, so it's going to go to the second one again, and then Control slash, and I'm going to turn off the replace again. I'm still searching for cat backwards, and it finds the first one. And that's how you search and replace text. That's all I'm going to show you with regards to the nano editor today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.